Hello, this is your friendly graduate assistant. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about an overview of research. As we can see on the first slide right here, what is research? I mean, you hear all the time about these studies on uh, the news or CNN, but basically it's finding out about something you don't know, evaluating and coming up with conclusions, searching information from the library. It's an in-depth study of a certain topic, investigating theories, challenging other people's research, studying to create a theory, using a ton of mathematics to figure out statistics, and collecting data and information. Basically, the meaning of research is you have a problem that you want to find out more about. And through systematic processes, which is data collection, analysis, and the interpretation of findings, you come up with a solution to that problem. The defined, um, or the accepted definition of research is a systematic process of steps that's used to collect and analyze data to solve a specific problem in order to increase our understanding or knowledge of a topic or issue. The key words that you really need to understand from this particular PowerPoint are the systematic process, the data collection, the data analysis, and how to solve a specific problem. If you want to check out examples of research reports, um, check out Reading for Meaning, uh, Efficacy of Reciprocal Teaching and Fostering Reading Comprehension in High School Students in Remedial Reading Classes, or the Effect Time Limits on a University Placement Test. You can also check out the Effect of Increased Test Taking Time on Test Scores by Ethnic Group, Years Out of School and Sex, and Many dif Districts Left Behind, an Individual Change Analysis of Inequity in the Kenya Primary Educational Opportunities or the role of teacher characteristics and practices on upper secondary school students' mathematics self-efficacy in Nyanza province of Kenya, a multi-level analysis, and also reciprocal peer tutoring and parent partnership. Does parental involvement make a difference? Now generally, when you're structuring a research report, you begin with the what and the why of the study, basically what you're doing and why you're doing it. Uh, the problem can be broken down into specific research questions or hypotheses. The literature review is when you look at all the existing previous knowledge on the topic. Basically, what are the underlying theories relevant to the problem being investigated? What knowledge already exists uh, with this problem? Or are there any related problems with this? And also, what have other studies found in relation to this problem? Your research methodology Basically, you're looking at subjects or participants if you're going with the APA style. The subjects of the study or participants, uh, how the sample was selected. Basically, was it a sample of convenience? Was it just you're just studying people around you? Is it a random sample? Is it a classroom sample? You're also looking at your instrumentation and measure, measures, uh, the type of instruments used, questionnaires, interviews, tests, etc. Your data collection. How did you actually go about collecting the data? Um, did you issue surveys? Did you sit down in person and ask this, uh, these questions? And your data analysis procedures, what methods are used to analyze the data? Did you use Microsoft Excel? Did you run it through some sort of computer filter? And what statistical techniques are used to analyze the data? Uh, again, Excel, SPSS, is it a computer program? Um, followed up with your research findings or results. Your findings can be presented according to each specific research question or hypothesis. If you ask um, a question at the beginning of the research study, it pays to answer it at the end of the study. Your hypotheses are tested and rejected or retained. And generally, you have several tables and charts that can be presented to display and illustrate your findings. You finalize it or finish up with your conclusions, discussions, and recommendations. Basically, how do the findings in this study relate to the theory and the findings in related studies? Do they contradict it? Do they agree with it? What recommendations can you make based on the finding of this study to impact policy or practice? As a researcher, one of your primary uh, objectives is to influence policy and procedures. So talk to uh, people who are going to be reading your study in this section. And what recommendations can you give to other researchers who may wish to extend the study beyond what is covered? If you found something midway through that you just, oh man, if only I would have looked at this or tried this a different way, state that. 